In this part of the tutorial, uh, we're going to first filter the surfaces that we got from the random division. And uh, I'm first going to place them into a container and flatten that container so that now they become a single list. Then I want to calculate their area and look for an average value. And this average value will be used uh, to filter the surfaces as uh, small or large. And for filtering, I'm going to use um, a conditional called smaller than. So I'm going to first compare each area value if they're smaller than this value. And it will give you a true or false pattern. So if the value is smaller, it will be true. If it's false, if, if it is larger, it will be false. And you can use these output patterns uh, and connect them to call pattern and filter the initial lists. So you see now these these are kind of relatively smaller panels within this area of panels because they fall under this threshold that is average. And if I do the same for the larger panels, I can also find them and make sure that you don't make this equal or greater um, because that's kind of um, if you want to get the same panels, it, it wouldn't normally happen, but you might actually get some sometimes get overlaps depending on how you do the filtering so now i basically separated them into two lists these are um, larger panels and these are smaller panels and i'm going to keep um, one of these exactly the same but the other one i'm going to uh, make it into something else by manipulating the surface information so these surfaces will be uh, manipulated to appear in a different different shape and I'm not going to uh, do it directly here. I'm actually going to first do this uh, on the side so that we can see what the panels are going to look like. So I'm going to create another planar surface. You can also use these uh, for like a box morph exercise, but um, this would also do um, kind of show you another way of uh, manipulating the surface directly. Um, so this is the surface and I want to first explode um, or deconstruct um, deconstruct the boundary representation and get the edge face and vertex values and what I want to do is find two points in between these two lines move them up and then create uh, a bunch of surfaces so I'm going to use list item um, operate through the lists um, and there will be four edges so you can go through them using 0 1 2 and 3 so I want to go to the top of the list uh, with one and I want to do the opposite side with three. And then I want to do um, evaluate curve and get these curves, uh, right click here, reparameterize them. And for the midpoint, we can do 0 0.5. And I'll do the same here. And we can now um, get kind of a point uh, in between these two. Now this one is giving me um, kind of an asymmetrical distribution. It's because um, this line goes from left to right and this line goes from right to left. So I need to just attach another um, subtraction here so that they will be symmetrical. So that we don't have to touch this one. If I move this, they will move simultaneously. And these two points, we're going to move them up. So I'll do move and attach a Z value. Let's make it um, up to 10. And 10 is probably too much. I'll keep it at three, make another copy. And that's it. So um, now what I want to do is basically draw, um, draw a panel, um, like a rectangular panel here and then draw a triangle here. And I'm going to move these down. And now we can um, switch to um, switch to the vertices. So I'm going to do a list item. Um, we, we can probably also do keep working with the edges. So for, for instance, if I do extrude to point, um, I have this edge and I can probably extrude it to this edge. Right, so we can get it kind of a um, triangle and I can do it for the other side. 
So now all I have to do is um, loft this side or close this side. And to do that, we can probably do a line here. And we can connect this line to this line. So we can either loft this side or this side. So either, either of them would, would work fine, I think. And we can probably get another edge, uh, the, in this case, this side. And that edge is going to be um, the second edge. And I'm going to move it here. And that will be connected to this one so that we can loft um, this side as well. Now let's see if it would work. Um, I'm actually going to first weave these together. So I'm going to weave, graft these two, and then do a loft. And if it gives you this kind of diagonal, uh, it's because uh, of the surface information. So you can quickly fix it by changing the, the way this line is drawn. If you swap the points, um, it will be fixed. Um, this is actually the panel I wanted to do. So the first um, original surf surface will be erased and that panel will be um, visualized like this. So we can control its height and we can control um, its location. So there are a lot of um, parametric vari variability to this. And I want to attach this one to, um, let's say, one of the panels. So I'm going to right click here, graft it, and um, whichever panel you want to attach it to, whichever, whichever panel group, it will basically execute it uh, the same way. Um, now these are giving me the same error. Um, this probably needs to be swapped again. Um, so we can just swap these two and that, that works. So now we can reduce this a bit more and increase this a bit more. So now we could get um, a lot of different uh, types of panel variation, right? So these would be, um, let me actually bake these so that we can look at them. So we have these surfaces and we have the triangles and I have these surfaces as well. So I'm also going to plug them in. And when I bake it, um, this is my surface now. So if I look at it in the rendered view, you can see that um, they are open on this side, right? So these are each, each of them are panels now. And I can control um, this uh, basically with different types of parameters. Now I can change how many panels I want horizontally. I can change or control their widths. I can also um, probably change the number of vertical division and it will compute um, the random panel distribution automatically, right? So that's um, that's kind of the operability of this uh, of the script. And you can also uh, do something else to the other surfaces as well. So you can put it uh, as another panel, uh, but essentially you'll be using similar tools like I did. So you will first deconstruct the surface into um, to get its um, to get its edges, vertices, and faces, then you can work with vertices and edges to define your new panel. Um, I hope this helps. Uh, thanks for watching, and um, please subscribe to the channel, uh, like and share this video. Uh, and if you want anything to be covered in Grasshopper, you can leave a comment below. Thank you.